Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're at the traffic lights at the junction of South Patio Road and Third Road. That's a good motorbike shop on the left there, by the way. Uh, and the reason we're here is because we're going to go to a gentleman's club. And I'm going to take you inside and meet the staff and have a look at the place. So, um, I've been telling you guys about gentlemen's clubs for oof, over two years probably. Uh, occasionally we're lucky enough to get to go inside one and to meet the staff and today is one of those lucky days so we're we're starting off here at the traffic lights going down the third road uh, which you probably know um, the reason we're starting here is because we're going to go to Camel Toe Gentlemen's Club and it's probably one of the most difficult clubs to find uh, if you're not familiar with the area so I'm going to take you and show you exactly which way to go take you the whole that way um, so we'll start by going straight down third road to the traffic lights the next traffic lights that is and then we turn left uh, for any newbies listening who don't know what a gentleman's club is uh, it's sort of halfway between a beer bar and a dancing girls club you know what I mean by that um, and as far as pricing is concerned they're very reasonable they're about the same sort of price as a, a better quality beer bar um, so at, uh, at Camel Toe where we're going uh, they have a, a Tiger draft beer which is only 99 baht for a pint glass um, and a normal bottle of Chang or Leo is only 80 baht so I think um, it could be one of the cheapest of the gentlemen's clubs, uh, price-wise. It could, it could be. Um, I'll give you a full price list later um, in the video, and I'll also show you the food menu. Now, traditionally, gentlemen's clubs open uh, just after lunch, really. Uh, in the case of Camel Toe, it opens at 1 p.m. and it closes at 9 p.m. and they do food until 7 p.m. Um, because the clientele are mostly expats who don't frequent the tourist places like nightclubs or, or down on Walking Street they prefer better value for money uh, and the music in the, these type of places uh, is eight, 70s, 80s type music which they play I mean obviously when I go in now because of copyright I've asked them to, 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 to close the music, to switch the music off which they have done so that was very nice of them um, but it gets, oh this market on the left side is uh, very very cheap if, you, if you're living in this sort of area you'll probably know it, it's really one of the cheapest markets around so I just thought I'd just point that out to you in case you live nearby you know um, but as far as uh, the place is concerned it can get quite sort of raunchy <laughs> down there I mean you'll see when you go in uh, you can get the drift from what the girls are wearing in fact I mean it's a little bit risque for YouTube but we'll we'll see if we get away with it we might do <laughs> um, I mean things like the, the you know later later in the uh, early evening you get stuff like um, sort of slightly inebriated people, young ladies, uh, dancing on the tables and things like that. That's what you get here. It's one of those sort of places. Uh, <laughs> good fun. Very good fun. So we'll go and have a look. Uh, I, this, the reason I'm showing you all this way, because it's just not easy to find, but it, the f most direct route is straight down Third Road, turn left at those traffic lights, and then you you come down here you bear right at that that junction earlier and this is it this is camel toe so we're going to go in and have a look uh, the staff are actually already there uh, this is now about one o'clock in the afternoon now and the staff have already started so you will actually see see the staff Having said that, it is very dark, which is a good thing in some respects. Um, <laughs> you can't show too much, <laughs> you know. So we'll go in and have a look, uh, and uh, I'll just show you some some f uh, prices as well, and, and I'll show you the food menu and what have you. Okay, so 
we'll go in the doors over there on the right we'll just go and have a look I won't speak too much until we get out okay <laughs> Hi. <Wow>. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Sit down. Oh, you play pool. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Hi. So I've got quite a good little menu, um, I mean before they had to have it, they didn't used to have one uh, and it's quite handy actually if you're a little bit peckish um, because I mean they have uh, Thai food, they have Falang food, they have Indian food, uh, so snacks and everything, it's really quite good and that was the price of the beers you just saw there, okay, so I'll just have a little walk around, it won't take long, it's not a big place. Um, but you get the idea I'm having to obviously uh, put some masking in place for, just for YouTube you know um, but if you can you can sort of see through the masking to a degree and you understand what, what you're looking at you know <coughs> uh, and then this is the main area and then this area here is a, a relaxing area with privacy curtains okay it's only 200 baht to use the privacy curtains quite cheap really um, the other thing about the place is the bar fines are extremely low um, a, a, bar, a short time bar fine to take the girl out is only 300 baht a long time is only 500 baht uh, and obviously the price is negotiable for you know with, with the lady I, I can only show you a, a short clip because obviously it's actually open um, but uh, you know you have some of you you guys have said why don't you just show a little bit more and I've tried to show a bit more let's see if we get away with it with YouTube <laughs> we'll see what happens so that is camel toe uh, please if you'd like the video please subscribe and like and share and ring the bell um, and you know where it is now and you know what to expect when you get there really don't you <laughs> it's one of those places okay you'll enjoy yourself okay thanks for watching guys